This is the world's biggest office. Uh, it's the size of a telephone box, actually. Uh, let me show you around, and I'll tell you why this place is cool. Come back to that. <laughs> To the outside. Guys, this is uh, St Pancras over there. That's my views I get across London. Well, it's a little bit foggy today. Bad, right? So, guys, this is the 2019 training venue for my business academy where we're going to run all of our training courses so if you're going to be joining us I can't really film in there right now so there's something going on if you're going to be joining us this is where it's all going to happen all these views across London as well which is incredible in the meantime I'll show you my favourite little place as an introvert to work from check this out not bad, right? So get my work done from in here. This is where I'm gonna do my video edit. All right, guys, Pete Scott here, and in today's video, number one, I'm sharing a, uh, a record, actually, for the world's smallest room to ever film a YouTube video in. But number two, I'm gonna be sharing how you can help companies and get paid uh, to do so. So it's a great topic if you are thinking about becoming a consultant, if you're thinking about becoming a business trainer, um, or, or just in general, you wanna help companies with your particular skill. And in this video, what I wanna do is uh, just really share, number one, how I got started and how I've been able to work with hundreds of companies now over the years, and get to do things like this, hang out in a phone box or phone booth uh, in London for the day. Uh, and also as well, how I get to get paid to travel uh, to different companies uh, in the UK and also around the world uh, to, to help them increase the sales and, uh, and to uh, you know, overall uh, improve their profits. So um, you might be wondering, uh, yeah, Pete, how, how do you do that? Because maybe you've been following me for a little while on, on YouTube or um, on another social media platform and you've seen for the last like five, six years, uh, I've been able to do this pretty consistently and uh, traveled uh, out of the UK over a hundred times and been paid for that. Uh, on, on top of that, uh, delivered well over a thousand consulting days. Well, um, I'll say as it is to get going. Here's the bad news. It is not as easy as just saying, oh yeah, I really want to do that. I know that some people, maybe you, you, you're saying, you know, I want to be a consultant but there are a few rules uh, which are really, really fundamental um, and it is discipline, it is hard work. Uh, when I first got into it, I probably did a part of it because I'm like, that would be so cool to help them out and I, I know that I can add value to their business, um, but what I didn't realize is that it became not only a addiction, it's become an obsession for me and you do really have to have that, I said this in a video a few days ago, that you do have to have that tenacity, that drive, um, and I'm pretty much, my mind is on seven days per week. One of the reasons why I meditate, do yoga every day, and why I've started playing basketball three evenings a week again is just so I can get some time back for me and also have a date night with my girlfriend at least once a week as well. So these things are, are, are key. But anyways, back to you. You may already be working with companies. There's some great value I'm gonna share in this video um, that, that can help you to become even more successful. Or if you've not even started, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter you know, if you think you're too young, if you think you're too old, or you think you don't have enough experience, I'm pretty sure that there's a way um, that you can, uh, you can help companies, and as I say, get paid to do so. Uh, the positives about it is that you get to create your own, um, your own schedule, you get to create your own really lifestyle, um, and you get to run your business on your terms, which makes it so exciting to do it. But of course, as I've already mentioned, it doesn't come without the hard work. You've got to be willing to put in the hours, willing to, um, and that's what I'm actually going to open up to talk about now, is willing to get really, really good at one thing. And um, if you want a quick way to get into companies, like go and be a generalist, go and help them as a business consultant, or if you want to be a corporate trainer, for example, sure you can go in and teach soft skills like leadership, emotional intelligence, customer service, um, and there's, there's plenty of companies out there that need those kinds of training. Um, but at the same time though, you're, what you're doing is you're commoditizing yourself. So um, sure enough, you might get some work working with companies and maybe that is a way to get started. Um, and you can earn anything from a few hundred pound a day up to like, I don't know, six, 700 pound a day for, for your effort. Um, but it's not necessarily going to set you apart from anybody else out there who's also doing that. 
Um, and I believe the reason why you're watching this video is not because you want to go out there and be average. You're not waking up in the morning saying, I want to be really average today. I really want to have an average company. The chances are you're watching this video because you want to go out there and do something incredible and you want to um, have, you know, that, like have your business really thrive, uh, to have a particular thing that you are known for. So let's get into that, that you must be an inch wide and a mile deep in what you do. When I started out, I did start out as more of a generalist, although that I was doing, I was doing two things. I was doing generalist training uh, for various um, various industries, from the oil industry to uh, to finance uh, to um, transportation to media, all these sorts of industries, uh, they all have budgets for training, which is great. Um, and I was doing all sorts of training for those sorts of companies. But then I picked an industry, which is spa, beauty, and also the health and fitness industry. So I really chose two industries, which are quite closely aligned. And I became a specialist um, for those industries, helping for sales and business transformation. So taking their sales exponentially to the next level. And um, as I went along with the two, I had you know my bread and butter money coming in from the generalist type stuff, and then I had you know building the dream with the more narrow stuff. And then it was in 2015, I believe, that I made a strong decision to ultimately step up. And, and become the best at what I possibly could be in helping companies transform their sales and getting their business to the next level. And that's when everything really changed for me. And uh, I was, you know, it's, it's funny because before I did that, I was like, well, I want to keep doing like the generalist stuff because I'm going to get variety. I don't want to be doing the same thing. I don't want to be pigeonholed for anything. But what I found is that when I made that shift from working more as a generalist to really putting myself out there as a sales specialist, as someone who can transform um, your business and, um, and help you get to the next level in sales, that's when I started to get more variety. That's when I got more opportunities. I was able to massively increase my fees as a result. Um, and, and from there, I haven't ever looked back. I think I've delivered plus 400, maybe even 500 training consulting days um, since that time. Um, my diary right now is, I'm like fully booked, I think until about July at the moment. And the second half of the year is always absolutely ram packed anyways. Another thing that I've been doing is outsourcing a lot of my work. So I've got a great trainer um, team on board now as well. But thinking about you, you know, what is the one thing that you can offer to companies that can add value to them, that can help them? Maybe you're great with social media. Companies tend to be terrible at that. So, you know, maybe you can take care of their social media for them, like a done for you service. Um, maybe you can help advise them with leadership. Um, maybe you have a background in, in management. You've seen the good, the bad and, and the ugly. And you can draw upon those life examples and you can go in and do it. Um, and you can go in and advise based upon that. Um, but it really is about, if you're gonna specialize in something, becoming a trusted advisor um, for your marketplace. You cannot go out there and simply, as I've mentioned, be become like a commodity. Just be like, yeah, I'm gonna sell you know, this. Um, you, you, you wanna be, especially in you know, the current day, 2019, as I'm doing this video, you want to be putting yourself into the top 1% of who can offer that. So that shows that you're not just showing up when you get paid. You know, you're showing up the rest of the time, like maybe on a YouTube channel. Uh, maybe you're posting articles two, three times a week on LinkedIn. Maybe you have a blog that you're you're pushing. But at the same time, as I always say, because people say to me, Pete, how, how is it that I've been able to go and help law firms um, recruitment companies to uh, car sales companies um, and the list goes on and on uh, to increase their sales and the, how I've been able to do it and how I've been able to get companies to understand why it's important to uh, to work with me and for, for me to help them um, is because I state very clearly that what they know is extremely wide. I'm holding the phone in my other hand, right? What they know is extremely wide. I'm not meant to know that. I'm meant to know this little bit in the middle that can make everything else better. So what is that that narrow thing that you know that can help make a company better overall. And you know, by, by focusing on that and by becoming the best at it, you'll be amazed how quickly you can start to create, you can start to get companies interested and then from there um, booking you and working with you. Whether you're teaching them something, so through training, whether you're consulting, or whether you're doing a done for you service, there's more opportunity in today's world than ever in the history of business. That's all I wanted to say for today um, from this little phone booth. So once again, comment below, let me know how you're doing and I'll see you in the next video.